Okay, now we're going to talk about wiring the system. First things first, the, uh, the switch. Find a spot in the dash to mount the switch. And uh, when you get that mounted, then we'll, we need to run uh, two wires from the switch back to the pump. I went ahead and pre-made some wires. This is going to simulate our first wire. So when you get the switch mounted, this is going to, this is going to be our automatic. So we want that to work. The way I rig it is when you turn the switch up. So we're going to put the uh, connector on the bottom terminal of the switch, okay, and then run that back and hook it to the thermostat. This is going to feed power to the thermostat. Our second wire is going to be our manual, which will be a constant on. It'll run the pump whenever we turn the switch to the down position. It's going to feed power and always run the pump. <clears throat> At the thermostat, what I've done, you'll notice, is I've taken a short piece of wire, put the female connector on it, and then the wire coming from the switch, I put them together and put a butt connector, put them both into one side of a butt connector. Now we'll hook this to our thermostat. What this is going to do is when the thermostat activates, it's going to put power to the pump. Since we only have one wire going to the pump, we have to feed it with, we have to feed our two feeds into one wire. So we've got our manual wire and our automatic wire coming into our buck connector. So we'll put that <clears throat> brown wire off the pump into the buck connector, and crimp it down, and now we've got <clears throat> our Basically, our thermostat wiring and pump wiring is set up. Now go back to the switch. We need to find a good, clean power source for the switch. Uh, fused, you want to use uh, no more than a 5 amp fuse. And then once you find your power source, you can hook your power to the center terminal on the switch. And now your switch and your pump is wired, with the exception of the pump still needs to be grounded, so you'll need to find um, either a ground bus or you can go right to the negative side of the battery and hook that up and that is it for wiring. You're all set. It's very, very simple.